Hi, welcome back to UA Technical Solutions. In this tutorial, Carrier 30GX and HXC models full hardware control components and their functions are explained. Watch the full video for better understanding. Electrical box contains of all compressor contactor, TCPM compressor control module, fan control module, fuses, main processor board, Pro Dialog 4 series, three phase monitor relay and phase rotation relay, control transformers and display panel PD4. All board are ESD protected as shown in the video. In the shown table all electronic modules address are mentioned as per their circuit number 1, 2, 3, 4. Where digit 1 means on position and digit 0 means off position. Pro Dialog 4 board. EXV board is fixed on top of the PD4 board, and CCN board is also fixed on the PD4 board. Pro Dialog 4 basic board overview showing the pressure sensor, temperature sensor, input and outputs, power supply and communication connection sections. Red arrow shows the connection terminal for 24 volt power supply on channel J1 of PD4 board to power up the board. Section J9 is used for SIO bus connection where pin 1 is positive 2 is ground and 3 is used for negative. The three wires mentioned are connected in parallel using RS485 bus, the operating board rate is 38400. All control module communicate to the main baseboard via this connection. Section J6 is used for thermistors inputs. In 30HXC model which is water-cooled type following are the channel point and thermistors connected to them. Channel 5 is for condenser entering water temperature sensor, channel 4 is for condenser leaving water temperature sensor, channel 3 is for common chilled water temperature sensor for lead. Type configuration, channel 2 is for cooler entering water temperature sensor, channel 1 is for cooler leaving water temperature sensor, but 30GX is air cooled type and the J6 channel are used for different purposes as shown in the table by the right side of the screen. Channel 5 is not used, channel 4 is for outdoor air temperature, channel 3 is for common chilled water temperature, Channel 2 is for cooler entering water temperature, and channel 1 is for cooler leaving water temperature. Section J7 is used for pressure sensor inputs. As shown in the table channel 9 is for suction pressure for circuit B, channel 8 is for discharge pressure for circuit B, channel 7 is for suction pressure for circuit A, channel 6 is for discharge pressure for circuit A. Section J8 channel 10 is used for 0 to 10 volt DC demand limit signal. Section J4 is used for discrete inputs, all of the discrete inputs are internally sourced by 24 volt AC. Channel 11 is used for remote on-off contact, channel 12 is used for dual setpoint contact. J5 section channel 15A is used for customer interlock and channel 15B is used for flow switch contact. J4 and J5 section are connected in series as shown in the video flow switch at channel 15B and customer interlock on channel 15A both contact should be closed in order for the chiller to start. J5 section channel 16A is for electrical box thermostat, channel 16B is for phase reverse detection, channel 17 is for heat reclaim or condenser water flow switch depends on the model type. Section J5 channel 18 is used for pump number 1 and 2 run contact. PD4 board discrete outputs used for this control are of the following types. TRIAC outputs max 48 volt AC at 1 ampere, it is used for oil heater or water pumps contactor control. Relay outputs max 48 volt DC at 3 ampere. It is used mainly for alarms controls. Section J2 is used for discrete outputs. Channel 19 and 20 is for cooler pump 1 and 2. Channel 21 is for condenser pump or heat reclaim pump, depending on the model of the chiller. Channel 22 and 23 is for oil heater of circuit A and B. Section J3 channel 24 is for alarm circuit A outputs, and channel 25 is used for alarm circuit B output. Channel 26 is not used. Please do subscribe us at UA Technical Solutions.